muddy and gross and... <laughs> Jesus, did you just spill hot tea on yourself? Better way to celebrate than watching Walker heads get smushed mm. like jelly, like raspberry pie. Rasp zombie pie. Mm. Zombie pie. Mm. Zombie cream pie. I think everyone's anyone's ever heard of it. I don't know what's happening in today's DLC episode of season <laughs> 10 of Walking Dead. It I looks like Aaron and, and Gabriel. Gabriel are on the, the cover thumbnail here. Back to back. Let's go. I'm down for focusing on the uh, lesser seen characters, as always. I think flesh them out in a good way. Let's see it. No, but guys, we really know you guys enjoy watching The Walking Dead with us and so much fun. But remember that this is not a market substitute. Please go support the original content on its own. Yeah. And come watch it with us. Hit that subscribe button after and like and like this video as well. Leave yep. a comment what you guys think about this episode. If you want more content, we do have a Patreon where there's a lot of cool content. We also have a free Discord where you can join and talk to us about everyday stuff. Social media, all links are below. Thank you for being here. One more time. Man, they broke up. Gonna celebrate. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that makes me so sad <laughs> about that funk. Oh, turn it up sound was a little low. Oh, oh, oh my like god. What? Oh, blood on a dandelion. That was a sharp lens. I feel like now that they have smaller team, they can do more like artistic yeah. choices. You know what I mean? Like they have time to think about stuff. Yeah. I would definitely go for Connor Oh, oh on the cricket! Grasshopper, but yeah. Grasshopper, sorry. What are they out there doing? Oh, oh never mind. Random burnt out house. I like to check it out. The shot looks good. The sun is like beaming on it. Mm -hmm. Steaming. Oh my god. Oh, dead. They're a recently charred. It's a family. Yeah, it's a little kid in the middle. What happened here? We'll never know. Like in The Last of Us, when you come across a room where someone's skeleton is laying down with a shotgun pointed at its head, and you're like, oh shit. I'm just gonna keep on moving. I'm, I'm gonna take this shotgun. I'm gonna keep on moving. Oh, you got food? It's like from the intro. Oh, you're uh, right. This guy just be straight chilling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. fucking god! Why am I not looking away? Oh. Let's see. When, Let me know when you know when a car seat's super hot in the summer. Oh, oh my! Leo. Oh, because it's the tall grass, so they're like, that. yeah, I ain't trying to get. I wouldn't throw it. I would leave it. Like, oh, Smart. Oh. Our characters have learned things! Yes! Oh, there's so many. This is Pokemon rules here. Tall grass. Tall grass, yep. They're all gonna go towards the one sound though. That's smart. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm probably gonna just avoid this herd, I guess. Well, you kinda need that back. Oh my god, a horse. Oh god. They're super old. They're bleached. You're smart. Why? Ah. Jeez. We're just hammering this home. Man, when traffic just doesn't move. Is that you? Why are you like this? That's the train. Every time the train is there. What are you doing? There could be something here. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. We all know that. But it's crazy how they don't, literally are having two at a time. They probably get COVID good. test Hell before yeah. come. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That's smart. Make sure two actors are cleared and then that's they can crazy. work together closer. Apparently, the choice for Leah and Daryl not to show the intimate scene was not because of COVID. Oh! Artistic choice. It feels like the Telltale games. Yeah. Hey, Denny! Ah! Ah! Bacana! He was doing that to drum. I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. Hey, Denny! Uh oh. Oh my fuck. Serge knows about this. Oh, no. This is great. Oh! oh. oh. Two. They're counting, they're counting. Watch! Can't do it. Oh, my They got skin. gloves. Straight gloves, his bro. His skin just came off his fucking flesh. Ugh. Part of this. Did these people just die up here and give up? Oh, holy fuck. Bullet casings. Oh, they were handcuffed. Oh, my God. No, that one what was handcuffed. What happened? Oh, my God. This is so sad. He's got the pistol. It's all rusted and shit. It's, it's, 
save us. Oh my fuck. There's a rifle up there, telescope. Anything? We're running out of everything. One more. We've been at this for two weeks. You can go back, check the hunting grounds. There's no food there, it's spent. So is every other place on Maggie's goddamn map. Damn, there's just no more resources anywhere. I miss my daughter. I know you miss yours too. It's just one more place. Come on, guys. It's muddy and gross. And... Oh. Ah! Ah! I can't sit next to her next time, guys. <laughs> Jesus, did you just spill hot tea on yourself? <laughs> like he's getting a hug. Oh! 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 Dude, straight chicken bones. Are you seeing this? Yeah. Well, there goes the map. Oh. We just need to head north oh. until we see it, and then we are not doing this without a map. <laughs> It's only an hour. One more, man. What if you get the good stuff, though? There's you know? a storm coming. Looking for the rare loot. I thought he was walking away from his face. They just got the straight hose right off camera, bro. Like the sun's still out and shit. They yeah. just like, soak them. <laughs> They're all right now. And they said they're sitting on the map, or so they've probably all lost. Keep doing it, man. Close the door so it won't get ran up on. I would do it like 50 times. The holy, that's a sign. Bro, hi, and turn off your flashlight. Hello? No, oh my god. Hide and turn off your flashlight. And call Gabriel. No, no. False bottom? No, bro, you're so dumb. My name's Aaron. My name's Aaron, bro. Clearly a zombie. Please don't be afraid. You should be afraid. Could be a Texas Ranger. Aaron, you should assume it's a zombie. Oh. Growling? Why would you open this without yeah. him? Oh, yeah. food. A boar. That was quite the scream. <laughs> hey man, I wanted to spend twice as long. Boars are fucking insane. insane. Right? <laughs> These things are vicious. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. What did he find that's making him this happy right now? Alright. <laughs> they slap happy now. Oh. Are you through? <laughs> oh no. A good old old yeah. But I mean, you know, he see they just pulled a guy's arms off a little bit ago and they're like, ah, oh, whatever. Yeah. Saw a board and he's like, <laughs> Found. Yep. Oh, bro, you know that shit's gotta be flame. Oh, oh. It's fucking beanie babies. I remember news footage of people in toy stores trampling over each other to get them. Yeah. Beanie babies? Gracie's gonna go nuts. Went for Coco. Oh, he remembers Coco. The kiddos. That's it. <laughs> yes, that's all we get. It's just whiskey. It's not just whiskey, it's perfection. <laughs> this bottle easily cost over $2,000. If y'all drop it on the way back, just drink it. Tell me what smells you're getting. Oh my god. What does it remind you of? I'm gonna see you. Deep, barrel aged oak. Yes, sir. Maybe a little vanilla in there, a little vanilla in there. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Breakfast as a kid. I'll take a sip. <laughs> He's like, I don't know my shit. I pay attention to the finish, how the flavor evolves. <laughs> wow. Now we eat and the meat will taste even better. Damn, I like how they're helping themselves. They could probably bring some back for the crew too. That was a big bitch. Right. Well, I mean, I don't even know if they're that close. Like, yeah, they were like an hour and a half away from. <laughs> man, he's so stingy with it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. It's just rare. <laughs> they're down in that whole thing, bro. Like, it's like less than halfway. <laughs> and they probably ain't had a proper drink in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> He's probably okay with me. <laughs> yeah. Is there a whiskey class in the seminary? Actually, yes. I had a mentor, Reverend <clears throat> George, and my first class with him was at a boy's funeral. Oh, God. He died of cancer. He was on his freshman year of college, and 
And everyone in town came to the funeral. One shot here. George, but he <clears throat> spoke as they lowered Tommy into the ground, and he said all the right things. And when we get in his car to go to the wake, and he, he just takes off 80 the whole way. He says, we have to get there before the others. And he's running stop signs, and my eyes were closed the whole way. And he, he heads straight for the liquor cabinet. I said, what are you doing, Reverend? <laughs> and he says, shut up, Gabriel. <laughs> and then Tommy's father walks in. Reverend George walks over to him, two drinks in hand. And he just starts talking. And they're at ease. And he tells me, all I have to do is be with him in the moment. And I'm not as good at it as it seemed. And then later he tells me that real ministry isn't preaching from a pulpit. That's how I know about whiskey. That's how I know about a lot of things. Aaron, you better not be asleep. Damn, that camera was like in his lap, bro. You start preaching again. No, you do. Wow. I'm gonna be mad at you. <laughs> Slight when swing. I was out there finding people to bring to Alexandria. He's fucked up. <laughs> helping people was right. We haven't done that for a long time. We gotta get back to it. I don't want to preach anymore. You really think things are gonna go back to the way they were? Yeah, that's true. The world isn't built for the way we used to be. Evil people are the exception to the rule. They are the rule. Well, now I'm sober. <laughs> <laughs> I Oof, this man. next round, I'm gonna climb up to the roof and jump off head first. <laughs> oh my god. No, oh, I think y'all should chill. <laughs> I mean, we gotta finish that bottle. Y'all gonna wake up feeling like ass. Straight zombie ass. You're not gonna feel great in the morning. Oh my god. I'm so happy you don't have that. Have what, a giant metal arm? Yeah. <laughs> because I would be dead. Y'all need water. Uh oh. Sinister music is playing. What's happening? What are we watching? I can't deal with this, guys. He had Aaron? to take toys back for Coco and his daughter. Aaron? <clears throat> this is why you don't drink in the apocalypse, kids. Yeah, honestly. I mean, you do. Drink responsibly. You just go with your buddy to go pee. You gotta have a but someone on watch. <gasps> the fuck are you? Oh no 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 no! It's that guy. That was, uh, those people were with the the, yeah. the Pope. What were you cooking? Boar. How was it? Boar. How was it? Oh no. This is sinister shit. I hate that. I like the way they're building this up. I like it, buddy. It's, 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 it's Terminator 2 villain guy, faculty oh, coach, Robert shit. Patrick. Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. The fucking Terminator, the T-2000. The cop. What's I came here with a friend of mine. Have you seen him? Can I ask what it is that you want? I want to break into my place, eat my boar. How do you fucking love I mean, the... It didn't look like anyone lived here. We were just looking for food. We All right, yeah. Wait, is that him? Is this saying no harm to you? What the fuck you do to Aaron? You should know that we're part of a larger group. More than 20 armed fighters. They'll be coming if we don't get back. Bro, you better have said 60. I don't go off and see she's playing your little card game. Oh, he's watching the whole time. Jeez. Dude. Damn, it's fully auto, bro? Damn. The friend. He's in there. <clears throat> Probably for the same reason you keep all those Bibles. And a reminder of the goodness still within us. Forgiveness. Toilet paper. The Bibles. Mm. Toilet paper. Damn. <laughs> I like pages. Maybe instead of wiping your ass with it, you should read it. Oh my god. Yeah, he was listening the whole time. aren't the exception to the rule. They are no. The drunk tongue's an honest one. Yeah. <laughs> There's still goodness. Who are you trying to convince, Padre? Man, why you gotta be so loud? What are you doing? You doing Russian roulette, bro? How you gonna fucking bullets, my guy? Come on. We're playing fucking black ops out here. This is not how I'm about to die in the apocalypse. I'm sorry. Huh? Looks like they got five. That looks like it's one. Yeah, choice. Fast. Each time you can point it at yourself or a man sitting across from you. Can Come I point on. it at your dumbass? They would cast him to be in this crazy ass role. I'm digging this. It's not about. And what is it about? 
Enlightenment. I mean, you can not look at it, but also, like, with a revolver, you can tell which round is next. Like, you can kind of see it. Especially if you see the round's next. You just pop this in here. Yeah, if you see the round's next, that's, that's, that's the only way they're getting out of this. God, this is the only way I would ever play this if a madman was pointing a gun at me. Jeez! Oh my god, no! None of them are gonna point it at each other. They're only gonna do it before they shoot him. Be like, sorry. Yeah. No! God my... damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! This sucks. It was crushed in a construction accident. Uh, Funny. Who blinded you? It was an infection. What, you wanted to hear that someone plucked my eye out? To prove how evil man is? Right. He's doing debate 109 from Community. Yep. <laughs> That's three out of six. I mean, right. it's gotta be close. Can you just spam it? Can you just point it and spam the trigger? No. Or will it be too slow? Well, dude's got a fully automatic AK. Yeah. So, yeah. He saw how quick to the trigger he was earlier. Yeah, he's gonna win. Oh, he just gave it away then. Yeah. Oh, we don't kill each other. Every time I met the ranger, I got on the earmuffs. We protect each other. I'm like family. Family? You want to hear about family? He's turned! Blah! Yeah. Still in the last of my food. And he just stares at me. And then he comes at me with a knife. What happened? Killed his fucking brother, man. That you meant less to your brother than some scraps of food. Gabriel. No, he's going to hear this. Oh. Talk to Ojitsu, Gabriel. You don't want to see your daughter again or not? Yes, I do. Then what are you waiting for? Three, Please, two, no. one. Stop! This is who people are. This is truth. You're wrong. Now, you weren't always like this. I know who I am. I do too, because I know people just like you. Preach. I don't believe you. You should, because that's who we are. Oh man, the goodness in humanity. They are the good. Hey, Amen. Rick or Daryl would have popped him still. So. Oh, boy. So with Carol. Maybe he's just gonna let him go. And she's like, well, that was the price of the whiskey and the boar. Then you just say they weren't looking out for humans, and I was like, yeah, even if it's just one crazy guy out here and <laughs> happen to run into one. Forces them into a Russian roulette game. Damn, son. My name is Maze. <gasps> Excuse me? What was the point of this scene? I knew they couldn't keep him around. I'm good. <laughs> G what, bro? Fucking what? Why would you do that, Gaby boy? We'll take him with us. He killed his brother's family. Let's just go. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> what emotions? I don't even know. I don't what? know. I was thinking like, man, I wanted to pop him. I'm so dark. That was the old Walking Dead. Oh. But no, this doesn't change. Gaby, you're the one that convinced him to put it down, man. Aaron could have blapped him too, but yeah, I guess. Oh my god, oh Jesus. This is fucked up, bro. Are y'all okay over there, Walking Dead? <laughs> fuck! This is The Walking Dead. What the Holy fuck? Holy shit, yes. This was pretty good, man. Pretty good shit. They took the AK. Where was he hiding? Smart Aaron, smart Aaron. Oh no. Please don't have kids or something, bro. Mm hmm. I fucking can't deal with this episode. This one was intense. It would be so dope if I he had like a whole family up there and he was like the goodest dude. Oh my god. Are we the baddies? Oh, okay, we just needed to. That's oh, a man. What the fuck? It's his brother. It's him! They used the same actor. <laughs> he kept his family there. We are not going to hurt you. <laughs> He's like, I heard what you said downstairs. Dude, kill him. I'm this sorry. is like. No, what? what? Oh, Jesus! This what is does a, mean? Yeah, I don't know about that. He's this crazy. has been a stage play. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's playing multiple characters. This is this is dope. It's not the same guy. I told you, kill him. It's the same actor, man. No, his eyes aren't cut. I don't know. You can come with us. He played Russian roulette with his family. His brother made him. No, no, he's... no! This episode. Show, are you okay? Has just been. Pouring oh, salt over an open wound and recutting it. Look at Aaron's right face. He's like, he's like, I'm fucking leaving. My bro. stomach hurts. Look at Aaron. Look at Aaron's face. That is the mood. My stomach literally hurts. Give me his fucking pistol. Dude, yeah, yep. take that shit, dog. Uh, they came and they got what they Pills. wanted. It's so dark. Oh, God. It's 
Gabriel Gabriel's literally like, oh, what? Like, Aaron's like, dude, I... <laughs> uh, see, it's the same actor. Oh, they were twins. Yo, I just want to let you guys know, I would not turn it against you guys like this in the podcast. Mm-hmm. You I said kill him! I heard you it. You said... Rada, on multiple occasions, you told me that I would be the one that you would eat first. <laughs> <laughs> One more. It's literally out there. One more. Wait, I thought that was uh, that was the one. No, no, because they were trying to get to this water, water tower. tower. This was this is just, this was just emotion. This was mental. Flowers are gonna be dead on top of the corpse now. Just kidding. It's just nothing. This was just mentally like too much for me. Oh God! This I kind of want to see the inside. Yeah, I want to know this what's too One more. Exciting. What's wrong with her? We intended for the episode to be funny, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. This is the least funniest episode. For it had extent. to be. For an extent. I shit myself. <laughs> Every time My God, you screamed twice in this episode, that made me shit myself. <laughs> you almost spilled hot tea all over you. This was... I love how it's a play. It's like a it's like a, it's like a theater. It was. Like Birdman. <laughs> Most of the budget Stage. definitely went to Robert Patrick, but... You know, because he's just a big name actor. But Is Robert Patrick on the show? The villain. The, the guy. villain. But Seth Gilliam and uh, Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't know his name, but he does really good with impressions. They both did a fantastic job, too. Just mm-hmm. with the, all the moments of levity, all the horror, just seeing the crazy things they were seeing along the way. Wow. And then, yeah, just that emotion at the end. Aaron's face where he's just like... He's like, what the fuck? Like, the, he did that. He had to do the face twice. The first one was when he killed Maze. And he was just like, we're good. Um, and it was like, yeah. that that we're good meant so many different things. Like, don't sweat it. Like, everything's cool right now. But also, he's like, we're the good guys. Like, he like he's like, I just smashed this man's face in with a mace. And he's like, we're good. He, he just gave and his name and everything to just became like, you know, a person, technically. He's, oh also, God. if they would have let him live, if Gabriel didn't kill him, they would have done seeing his brother upstairs and been like, you gotta go. Yeah, they'd have been like, right. they'd have been like we, we can't let him come with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'd be having like Negan number two on the fucking compound. Oh, yeah, this is even mm-hmm. crazy. The man's been out here for who knows how long by himself, trapped in boards. I guess it like in the end, he was the bad guy. He sh- it would fuck him. But, oh, yeah. but the. Uh, <laughs> I was full. I was just like full. Yeah. Like, oh, we were all Aaron. Oh, yeah. I was like, hell yeah. We're getting somewhere. Goodness of humanity. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was somebody else who came and killed Maze, but I was like, it's fucking Gabriel. Like, Aaron's yeah. not going to be okay. No. There's no Zoloff in the apocalypse. My man, oh. he's like, yeah, we just did that. And then he's like, fuck, then I saw that shit. And then they get upstairs, and a brother's like pissing and living in his own shit in the corner with his dead family that he shot right there. And then the dude chooses to blow his own head yeah. off, and Aaron's just like, like, that look on his face was, cool, I'm never going to forget this, and I don't know how I'm going to be fucking okay. Like, I'm you decide okay. one night to get drunk in the apocalypse. One night! Then what happens? One the worst night. hangover Quality. ever. Oh. We were hungover during that whole yeah, day. Yeah, that's day, it. Bro. I don't know how they didn't throw up the whole time. All they had was meat. Where would the carbs soak up that alcohol? I would have undone. Oh, my. You I don't need. Uh, this is. This is probably one of the more emotional episodes I think I've seen that really took me on a roller coaster emotionally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm hungover now, so I kind of I kind of feel it, but it just mm-hmm. it got I don't understand. I don't know, man. It was just it was really rough. Well, the, it reminded me of the old tones and themes that the Walking Dead used to cover. You know what I mean? It was always this glimmer of hope, and mm-hmm. what we've been seeing lately these past seasons. The rebuilding community. Yeah. It's all about family. So I yes. thought maybe for a second my way was antiquated in thinking we just gotta kill Pop him. him. But and then Father Gabriel just I, I think it's, back home. It's about like the loners. Like obviously So <coughs> Alright. You've been prepping and you're ready for the apocalypse. You've got all your shit stored up. You're the dude with the sniper rifle and shit. And he's got his own small community, but like those guys are super individualistic and they're not like looking out for building anything. For every time we see him, every time we see like some one lone asshole out there, he's a fucking nut show. Every single time. But like you have to be in that group. You have to be with people in order to like be in a society and like work towards that. Yeah. I'm not saying that some people can't be by themselves. I'm saying that in an apocalypse where dead people are walking around, that for your own mental health it's probably better that you're in a group of people so that way you can even if it's even if it's the trash, people are the whispers. Yeah. All of them were more well put together than this guy. This dude was an absolute, like, nut show. He's just like, yeah, bro, I make people play Russian roulette just so I can figure out if humanity's good or not. That's and crazy. I have a boar in the closet, like. 
how Megan's like, is at least like, I'm a dictator. I'm a bit of a fascist asshole. But like, look, I'm, we're running a tight ship around here. Everything's cool. He's got his, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This I'm, guy, I'm, I'm oh, he's got. Yeah, you your your mentality will just kind of degrade over time, deteriorate. Like, remember Tom Hanks, Castaway? Yeah. He got to a soccer ball for a bit. Imagine doing that in the apocalypse. Like, I know people here they don't always need to function in a social setting you can kind of be a loner but you still have to somewhat interact with the outside world yeah. the That's amount of conversations i've had with my cat mm. over 2020 is absolutely <laughs> embarrassing it is she does it out loud too what uh, can you think of any other loners that we've seen in the show that are like yeah, all right Mor- morgan he he was alone for a while and yeah he had to develop his clear system yeah and but he had to snap himself out of that yeah it's like when they people go off by themselves they they lose themselves in, in, in The Walking Dead, if you want to be alone, please, by all means, just do you. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. But I'm saying, like, Morgan needed to be alone. grounded like that, and he got out. And, like, even Carol, like, Carol, we've seen Carol, like, try to be alone, but, like, she's really kind of, like, still, like, I want to be, like, just on the edge of shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, Morgan's whole clearing thing, that was nuts. He was, like, he had that whole maze. Yeah. I, I don't think that any of us really are the type of people who would just, like, seclude themselves. Like I, I love I love my solitude. Like I love being alone. But I know that at the end of the day Chris is gonna come home, you know, and like I can go see my family and I can go see you guys. You know, like that's like important. Like I live in a big city for a reason. Yeah. Even even if I don't go out every single time, like, you know, I don't I don't wanna live somewhere where I have to travel for over thirty minutes to see some other face. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. There are people that do. Oh, yeah, no, no. people I, do, yeah, but I, it's life. not for me. Not for me. Uh, so, are people good? Are our guys the good ones? I mean, in the end, it would have been such an interesting twist I mean, if they had like a whole family out there. Uh, you would have killed them too. Oh, fuck yeah, not even a question. Uh, I wouldn't even have been doing the whole debate if I was Aaron. Aaron was already ready to shoot himself. I'd be like, I'm about to figure out when this thing is about to be chambered up, and I'm going to, as soon as he looks over at Gabriel, I'm going to take his fucking head See, off. Aaron was yeah, so, good guy. But also, he could flinch. Mm-hmm. He could flinch and just... Yeah, his finger was on the trigger of uh, Robert Patrick. Maze. But that's a cool trick I learned in Russian Roulette. You can always hear the chamber. Di- uh, How'd you learn that cool trick in Russian Roulette, sir? What situation were you in real life? Just, just, the- just I mean, now in the show. Oh, okay. Don't trust the show. Let's go to the <laughs> Let's go to the range and find out. Okay. No, but we're not actually playing. But just, Yeah, well, don't dangerous. put the gun by your ear. Don't do I'm, that. Just when you, just when you, when you snap it back. Not, not pulling the trick. I don't know that it does make a difference. Now, maybe literally, I only have had on it. Absolutely mm. never. Yeah. But you know what? Aaron's a good guy. I don't know about Gabriel, but Aaron's a good guy. He was willing to shoot himself. He had the opportunity to shoot Maze, but he didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was like, I'm gonna play his game to the end. I mean, it's also they were in a tough situation. Like someone was about to get shot. Ugh, man. I forget, Gabriel is so cold sometimes. Like oh I forget how cold it can be. Remember when he was doing that thing where he was like, Oh hell Mary Father <laughs> <laughs> yeah. May the Lord rest you in peace. <laughs> I uh I <laughs> do <laughs> commend I wanna commend Gabriel as a character. It took him until about season seven ish. But now he's like he's pretty cool. When he's he, so cool from where he was when we when we were introduced to him, guys, he was a bitch ass motherfucker. Yes he, he was. was. And it was now, so annoying. He made him a better man. Mm. Yeah. He, he locked out his entire church congregation. And let them get in by zombies. The zombies. And he didn't let them in. And then That's did that to uh, the crew, like, in the same episode. Didn't he, didn't he yeah. do some shit to them like that? He did. And he was living in isolation when the crew found him. He him. was. And was he not a crazier than a fucking bed bug, he man? Was. Crazier than crazier a bed bug. Than a bed bug. <laughs> he, uh, uh, that, he had that one shot that, you know, it was like an aerial one take. Where Seth Gilliam was just monologuing, like, did they write this for you, or did you just, did you just come up with something <laughs> off the cuff? But it was, oh, it was yeah. a good story, and then it ended like on his chin. I don't know if the camera scaled up the shot, but that's an impressive, artistic choice. Just, like, good. Down on him. Yeah. They've been doing that more, and I'm, I'm, I'm here for it, even if it's like a little on the nose sometimes in his themes. It's mm, give me that. Fun. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate. Whenever there's a thing that's been doing something for so long and they're willing to uh, like explode the format sometimes in order to try something new, I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, back when I worked at the brewery, occasionally my boss would just be like, and I and I got like the idea and like the appreciation from him. He'd just be like, I'm tired of looking at this thing. I'm going to blow it up and just like <laughs> tear it all down, start from scratch and like make something new. And like I, I like that as a concept because I don't, 
I think that like art can get stale, you know, if you're mm -hmm. doing something in that to like just kind of for ten years throw the whole entire yeah throw the formula out just to do something wildly new. And it wasn't their choice; they had to do it because of the pandemic. But it's pushed them to a point where like that's probably one of my favorite episodes of Walking Dead right now. And barely anything happened. Like it just like because it, it there's also those like super awesome moments like back in the day. But like for what they've been doing right now, like yeah. the Stratosvarius episode, I absolutely love. Yep, yep. And this one was just. Oh, it was really stellar. fucking well done. Like it's just good. Like it was even kind of better than Daryl Carroll episode. And it's almost like a standalone. Oh, like outside yeah, of it's definitely better than that one. Outside of like The Walking Dead as a whole, like you could just watch this episode and be like, like you get it. It's like a short film. It's like yeah. came in, introduced these two guys. You know that they both have kids now. Like all that. Like if you just yeah. hopped in right now, you'd be like, damn, what the fuck am I watching? This yeah. is pretty good, you know? Yeah. 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 It was also okay. important that the t they picked like these two. They paired them up together because they are fathers. Yeah. Uh, and like it's just seeing all the destruction around them and like all the communities that like you can you can see every time you walk to a different um place that was marked on the map yeah it's destroyed but like the remnants are of three plus people yeah like it's never one person it's yeah. always like a community that just like wiped the fuck out also that fire that they saw at the, at the beginning mm -hmm. that was still kind of like it like, seemed it was, fresh yeah right yeah I don't know. But like the people were just charred and flowers were already over them. Like I don't know. Maybe the ashes make the flowers grow faster. Was it a fire? I thought it was just like a broken down building. No, no it was a fire because the yeah. only thing that was standing was the wooden. Uh, okay. Sorry, no, the, the chimney uh, bricks. The chimney. Hmm. Yeah, the, both wanna... of them were fathers. One was a father that doesn't want to be a father no. anymore. The know? other one's a father, the father. That was a father, father, and the, they brought up one other <laughs> interesting aspect that I don't know if they're gonna harp on more but the resources are just kind of running out now yeah. like yeah. there's no everything has been looted essentially yeah maggie's like, maps no use yeah. yeah so i think this is gonna hopefully turn into a bigger problem where like we are literally out of things yeah. and it's like um <laughs> so humans once we figured out how to farm and hit the whole agriculture thing we started sticking around in one spot and like really kind of get into that it was one of the reasons like society is able to like jump forward is because it was like now one person can make enough food to like feed a whole bunch of people so that means that everybody doesn't have to spend all day looking for food so if you got a couple of people working on just getting the food then you know some other asshole can build a ham radio yeah and yeah. figure that out and like I guess they're still building up yeah or but or like because they just the all they had all they, they were there remember like they were they're having the agriculture yeah. fair and all that got nulled out and it's like because of a what like thirty yeah, assholes? I am alpha. How many? How many uh, whispers were there? There were there were a bit ton of whispers. All right, well I, you can never know. <laughs> yeah, there were always really with the zombies. All right, anywhere between like <laughs> there was either thirty or three hundred of the motherfuckers, <laughs> no. but regardless, <laughs> you like, never knew how many of them are. You just don't. Three hundred at the most. Uh, That's true. <laughs> I, I know that Michonne is gone from the show forever, but since, <laughs> this, so, since these are like anthologies, I'm gonna call them anthologies. Yeah. I, I really wish that there was like one more. I, I want to know where, what she's doing. You know? Her prince. No. She's looking. She's looking for Rick, and she, I don't know. Like she's, she started following that that uh, caravan, right? Like, she's she's like, like the she, uh, yeah. she did kind of her last episode was kind of like a send off episode for it her was, it yeah. could have been a little bit better though I think I mean specifically oh, yeah. because she left her fucking children yes yeah. exactly like one yeah. and I know you could say like oh but like Judas only like her stepdaughter she left her like blood and no. gut son well, I, JR? I know I know yeah. that she had to go find Rick but like that whole no. write off like no I, I feel like as much as the kind of mom that J she J had J been J in fact she lost her I don't know we're all the way back to Michelle she lost her family before and she lost her son before like you tell me that this woman who's literally lost her entire family before and when we met her was carrying around her brother and her fucking husband on chains as zombies because she couldn't let them go is gonna and bounce on her, her two kids, kids? I'm yeah curious, after I'm all curious. they've been through I, losing, I know that they have to do it for coral. the coral coral but Rick is the love of her life him. He can, the just, kids. I mean, like he's gone. So the parents, there's one parent, <laughs> two kids. The other parent can't fucking go anywhere until yeah. the other parent comes back. He's to figure that out together. Uh, it was either Rick or the kids. Okay, hey, this is what it takes exactly. to do for the movie to get Michonne in the movie with Rick Grimes. I'm hundred percent down with that. That would be Let's nice. go. I, I, just, I love Michonne. I, I, yeah. I was not okay with that. Then I agree and 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 Andrew Lincoln. Andrew Lincoln. Stinking Lincoln. Rick Lincoln. Dick. Well, y'all, um, right. we enjoyed it. Um, Walking Dead, man. I'm not Maybe even gonna say it's good again. It's just all over the place. Just one, one more in it. Two. 
Just one more? That's good. I would, I would highly recommend this. Episode. Oh, no, it is good. I'm just saying, but, like, it's... I don't know. It's all over the place. The Walking Dead for me has peaks and valleys. This is it's a good yeah, yeah. standalone episode. Like, it's a volatile know, stock. Like, somebody can it's watch it without volatile. context. And we need, oh, yeah. we need one episode of a princess and one episode of just dog. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of The Walking Dead. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons. Doppelganger, Old Man the Oil Monger, Quasi, Sakiv, Clayton Davis, Harry Magvin, Exploring Dylan, Dane, Mr. Momus, and Joe Mags. Thanks again and have an awesome day.